I was talking to a coach on the way down, and he said, you know, that he, you know, says the same thing. Like when we have, we have our rule is, you got one bat, it's a light. There's no questions asked. If it's a charge, we take responsibility for it as a coach. Like it's not on you, it's on us. Like one bat, you're aggressive. We're getting a light. We're not trying to pull up, trying to take a jump shot. We're not trying to be fancy making 16 passes. It's it's a light. And then everything is based off of. And for us, and when we draw this up here, like. Fours and fives are the same, twos and threes are the same. All right? And the point guard is the only one that really is any different. But we want whoever gets the rebound, if it's a big, right? If, it, if let's say a five. Got another one by any chance? <laughs> there you go. I'll throw that one out. All right, so let's say the five gets the rebound, right? So the four is in here somewhere, and everybody's rebounding, right? And the five gets the rebound, so she's got the ball. The four is doing what we just worked on down there in that, that post-up drill at the end. They're busting it rim to rim, and they're running as fast as they can, and they're sitting and spinning. More times than not, who's the first person back on defense? Point guard. So we get a post-up on that point guard. We're just going to abuse her all day long. Now, I haven't seen all you guys play very long, but I know, like, Sydney runs pretty well. She's supposed to be a post player, right? Like, you should be rebounding first, but if you don't get that rebound, you should be busting it down and just headhunting with your eyes all big, like, this kid's going to try to stop me down there. And just and that applies to, you know, every single one of you guys. You're busting it as hard as you can down the floor, sitting, spinning, looking for that basketball. Don't worry about which side you end up on. The ball will find you ultimately. We'll move the basketball to get it to you. But you're sitting, spinning, and just headhunting that, that first person back and trying to get that basketball in the lane deep, all right? The two and three, whichever side you're on, and we got to make sure that you guys communicate. We can't have you guys running up each other's backs on the same side. That's the only thing. Other than that, it doesn't matter. We're going to break out all the way to the sideline. Not in here, all right? Not anywhere other than all the way to the sideline. As wide as possible. As soon as you get to half court, all right, you're looking for the basketball over your inside shoulder. If you're, in, if you're like running in here, you could be looking for the ball on either side. You don't know where to throw it to, right? So you're breaking, breaking all the way to the side, and when you get to half court, and we're going to start working on this too when we get into just some simple 2 on 0 So when you get to half court, your hand's up, and you're going to send it if you're ahead of people. If there's nobody ahead of you, you're going to send it. We want to throw it to you, and we want to get it from there and attack the rim. All right, we're not waiting for anybody to get back. I know you guys play that way, right? Right? So at that point, if you don't get it, you're going to continue to run. You don't slow down at that point. You're just getting your hand up, and then you're running all the way to the baseline. All the way to the baseline. You're not going to stop in here. Right, because if you got a point guard and Cordy, you coming down the floor as a point guard, and you can break down your defender and get to the rim, but your teammate stops right here and right here, then now as you come down, what happens? You got a help defender and a help defender. But if we run all the way to the baseline, now you got a help defender who's in a pretty good pickle there. She's like, do I go and help on that? And then I leave, and we got the kick right there for the wide open shot in the corner, or I don't help, and we'll get all the way to the rim. So it's really important we run wide and all the way to the baseline. Okay? You on the same page so far? Mm -hmm. All right. So now we got our two and our three ran all the way to the baseline. We had, what did we say, four or five? I don't remember. Whichever one ran to the rim, right? So now the four outlets to the one. Now, this is happening like in game speed, full court. So this can happen a lot of different ways. She may not be all the way to the corner by the time the one looks up and throws it ahead. Okay, and obviously, once we throw it ahead, and say she makes the catch here, her first look is to that five busting it up the rim. Her second look, and it's kind of like more like 1-1-A, one, one is to get to the rim yourself. All right? So if we can get back there before the defense is set, and we don't have to run anything, then we're looking to take advantage. But this spacing is going to make it easier for us to take advantage. So with that said, a couple things that are, that are important is, let's say two gets the ball somewhere in here. One throws it ahead. Two's got the ball somewhere in here. Five's posting up. She doesn't have anything. Two drives the ball now. If she drives the ball to the baseline, okay, then the five has to kind of circle out and get like right in this middle of the lane area. So that if, if that defender that's guarding the five helps, then we're just going to drop it back to her. She's going to have a nice little layup if she steps back to the ball. And if she doesn't, then two's going to get to the ring and score, right? So now the two drives middle. That five is going to get to the opposite side with her heels to that baseline over there ready to step in when her defender helps to drop it off or lay up that way. But we're trying to clear out that space if she does decide to drop it. So as you catch it on the wing, you're looking in, 
through the basket. So if there's no post up, you're looking to drive. Simple so far. You with me or any questions? Don't be afraid of being nice and simple still. You don't understand? Yes. Um, so like after the one like pitches it up, do they just like fill and open? We're going to get to that right now. Good question. Um, but that's your first look. And that's the first thing we're going to work on as we start like three on up. We're going to talk about bang, bang plays. The ball comes outlet to the point guard. The point guard is looking up. I don't want you putting the ball on the floor first. I want you looking up. And if you can't throw it ahead, then you can put it on the floor. Okay, so now either the one threw it ahead, like we just said, or there was nothing ahead, so now the two's all the way to the baseline, five still posting, four rebounded, so she's trailing. So now the one's dribbling the ball up the floor. Now the two's gonna come back and step back to the pass if it wasn't already thrown ahead to her. Okay, so either way now to answer Courtney's question, now the one is cutting through. Now if it is like from here to here, then you want to actually cut through on the ball side and make yourself available, make yourself an option, and threaten the defense with that cut. If you throw it from back here, then you're going to kind of just kind of want to get to that spot, which ultimately is all the way to that corner, where the three currently is, and you're going to see what we do with her in a second. Okay, so you following me so far? Understand? So whether it's a throw ahead, or whether it's pass to the wing once you, as she comes up, once you get down there, either way, you're cutting through or you're cutting opposite to get to that opposite wing. All right, everybody's still with me, right? So now we got, what do we say, two had the ball over here, right? So we had two, we had the three over here. So the two had the ball, the three's over here. The four is now trailing, so she's stepping in and following down, right? And the one is on her way through. As the one's on her way through, the three fills up, so the one's down here. We reverse to the four. It's got to be a quick look, but your first look when you catch it as the four is you're looking high low. So if that five was kind of being guarded on this side, that's why we couldn't go into her. And now we go to the four, right away, we go high low and we throw it to the five. That's our first look. But it's one of those things that we want to move the ball fairly quickly in this, in this area, so we don't want to hold the ball and like, look, look, look. It's like, the ball's being reversed, so you kind of know, like, as soon as it's coming to me, I'm going inside with it, or I'm reversing it. And that's what we're going to talk about right this next. So we understand what we're talking about so far? Okay. So now we look in, nothing there. So now the four's got the ball, right here. The three's now up here, right, and the one's in the corner. Y'all with me? The three is going to come up hard and call for the ball, and you're going to back cut hard. Okay? Obviously, that's our first look. Is if, if they bite on that on that cut coming up, then we're going to hit that three for a back cut for a layup right there. Pretty simple. But more likely than not, you'll get that maybe once, you know, maybe twice, but you're not going to get that very often. You're not going to, that's not going to be the, the real look. It's kind of just a decoy to eventually then get one coming back up. The three, and this is where I was talking to you earlier, Carly. Like, you got a three like Carly who's got some good size and can post up. She might stop and sit and spin in there and call for the ball down there right away, and we got to post up there. But if that's not something you're going to do all the time. You want to keep the continuity of this going. So you're going to look for that quick, but you're going straight across, and now you're going to screen for the five. We got five on the post up, right? Follow me. And it's immediate. Like, if she's got that post up, we're throwing to her. If not, She's going to continue right on her way and go set a ball screen on the one right there in the wing. Okay? You still following me? I know I'm going kind of quick here, but you know, I'm going to go over it again. And then on the back side, the four is now going to screen the screener. So the four sets the down screen for the three who just set the cross screen. Okay? Alright, so. I know I just went through that one time, and this is a lot to ask. But court, come on. Right. And you guys are going to help her, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> the two, like the one's here, and then the two's here. Well, let's start, let's bend me backtrack for a second. What's the most important thing as far as getting down there for the two and the three? Run all the way to the baseline. All the way to the baseline and wide to the baseline, right? Sideline to the baseline, right? Everybody got that? So nobody's going to start shooting up the middle and stopping at the wing. Sideline to the baseline, right? Okay. Three is here. And what about the five? What's more, most important about her run? Um, Sid? You're just running up, down to the wall. And you're running as fast as you can, and you're pinning that kid as hard as you can, right? With like big eyes, like, oh, this kid's in trouble right here. Like, I can't wait to get a chance to post this little kid up, right? And then... Right, Morgan? 
Where's more? Wait, what? No. Wait, Morgan. Three doesn't have a shot coming off her screen. 
Now, if you look, we can go right here and we're right into the flex, right? And down the screen, we're right into the flex, right? Make sense? Yeah? And this cut right here is so hard to defend. Think about defending this ball screen, so they're worried about this action coming from this way, off the ball screen, and now they reverse the ball, bang, she's right to get screen right in that lane, you get that layup every time. Not every time, but you get it a lot if you're looking for it. You never get every day, every, every time, right? Make sense? Mm -hmm. Alright, so, I know we only went through it a couple times real quick. So what questions do you guys have about any of that? Come on, you guys didn't know what efficiency man. You think I, you think I <laughs> don't want to think that you guys just got all that right away? So you to come up? Is it down screen simultaneously as a ball screen? The down yeah, screen. That, yeah, that's what the coach asked was, like, she's coming, you got, one's got the ball now, three is on her way and back cutting, and four is here, so four reversed it to one, that's a one, four reversed it to one, and now three's on her way setting that, here comes the ball screen, and the down screen, so it's all, that's all happening together. So, Samir, are you ready? Yeah. So, you come, come up here, and you got, you get a lot of coaching now. He's crushing you. Heard him. Pretty cool. Yeah.
no, you're fine. I'm saying, like, if you were cool, oh, God, you can't do it. Man.
already set up his flag, so I think it's out of screen and get the flag back. Yeah, pretty small. That pick is smaller, but it's going to cross. It's going to be a pretty good goal for the defender. They usually take it away from the game, pick up that quick cross, maybe. Mm -hmm. right. Makes sense.
passing if the ball goes to bowling down. Oh, we screen across if we do a flex. Is that all you do? Yeah, we screen across and we got to right back. Okay. Anytime the ball goes to corner flex, we screen across. Okay. Instead of running options off, it, yep. he gets it right back into it. And believe it or not, the team sat in, we just take the shot to try to sat in. Or if you cross, we can open on that. Yeah, we're pretty good. If anytime we, go, we like to sit right down, mm -hmm. we just screen across and we're back into the front. Cross screen, down screen, in it.
How does it stay with all the plays? You don't need to see the individual breakdowns. Yeah, I'll get a paper. paper and at first I did it. It didn't look like this one. Because you had to play the sense of combine together. Yeah, here's the paper. Here's a bunch of paper, but this is the only one I'm using. If you didn't give me the double stack, you know, double. So one thing you gotta make sure you're doing is coming off the 